Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrealized in Marketplace video. Today we're going to be going over the February sale in which you can save 50% off on hundreds of different selected assets and I'm going to be going over the top 10 today and that's just my personal opinion out of the ones which I've seen. These are 10 of which which I think look really good. So again there's so many to choose from I'll leave a link in the description down below to all of the ones which I'm covering today and also the full page for you to take a look for yourself. And this sale is again 50% off from now up until February the 13th. So essentially the end of this week. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with the Mountain Environment Set. Now this is a huge foliage library for mountain and forest environments and landscapes. Assets are optimized, trees contain LODs, and all assets are 100% photo scanned. So this pack contains 448 meshes and blueprints for trees, grass, plants, rocks, stones, branches, mushrooms, roots, cones, and much more. Basically, anything you expect to find in a forest, you can find in this pack. Again, all the assets are 100% photo scanned, carefully optimized, and have LODs. So again, very good for any PC which you're going to use. There's also splines for the road with ground snap and rivers. There's rocks, slopes, roots, leaves, grass, moss, and sand cover blueprints. They've also included the playable map, which is 800 by 800 meters in size. The landscape contains 14 ground texture sets, and the textures include stones, leaves, moss, grass, mud, sand, roots, rocks, needles, soil, and heater. And the textures are all in 2K. Again, with the rocks, roots, slopes, trees, and foliage, all containing LODs and high quality textures, some going up to 4K. So in total, there's 22 tree meshes, 11 of which are big, 4 are plants, and 7 are small. There's 21 bushes, 37 plants with grass, 45 detailed meshes of branches, cones, ant hill, animated ants, animated fishes, and logs. There's 32 mushrooms, there's a road, there's two different waters, so there's a lake and a river. There's three background mountains as well, so you might want to get this just to use those. There's 45 rocks and 23 roots and 79 trunks. So that's quite a lot there to just go over and talk about. However, there really is so much stuff within this content pack and I think this is great quality for the value it is as well. I think this one looks absolutely amazing. So let's go on to the next one, which is Landscape Deform Pro. Now this is very similar to one which we had free a couple months ago, however this does include some more stuff and you obviously might not have got that one. So there's not much to talk about here but as you can see on screen this is what it is, it's basically when you're walking through something which should really be deforming under your feet, for example snow, mud or sand, it's going to do that based upon where the player has been walking or jumping or basically traversing through this landscape. So there's six materials and material instances, three blueprints, and it is supported for and developed for Windows, and they do also have a tutorial documentation as well. All of the textures you can see on screen as well are used in Mega Scans, and this also does work with cars, not just people, so this will really work with anything which you want to implement in here. So people, cars, NPCs, AI, whatever it is, this will work really great, especially if you have a big town set in one of these locations, for example. This is a foliage pack that is fully compatible with Megascans, black older trees with game ready performance. So there's customizable materials and colors which you can see on screen in this video. There are three trees, 27 vegetation, five rocks, and a landscape material with six layers, as well as a showcase map that is two by two kilometers square. So 35 unique meshes, all with collision, as well as LOD, so it's nicely optimized for game as well. Seven materials and 27 material instances, 55 textures ranging from 1k all the way up to 4k and again these look absolutely great I really love the look of it it's nice and simple but gets the job done and would work well in any sort of forest look you're going for or even in that example it's more of a plains location now we've got the climb and vaulting component so this is a multiplayer replicated component to easily and quickly add climbing and vaulting to your game within minutes complete with animations so this is great, again it's nice and simple if you really just want to have this vaulting and climbing implemented into your game, especially multiplayer, without having to go through the hassle of doing it all yourself, and it even comes with animations, so you might even get this just for the animations. So it's got an easy setup and integration which will take you less than 5 minutes. There's 20 unique climbing and vaulting animations, which include slow and fast movements for both third person and first person projects, totaling 40 animations, obviously 20 for third and 20 for first. 
There's fall detection with animations, including three different heights with multiple different styles of animations, a foot IK system, which is built into the component and easily able to be disabled or removed if you don't want it. It's obviously multiplayer supported, replicated sprint with auto climbing for testing, which is a toggleable option, and first person arms and third person support. So this is obviously scaled to the epic skeleton as well as being rigged to the epic skeleton and is also animated with 60 animations in total. The animations are both root motion and in place, so you can choose which one you want to use. Once again, this is a pretty simple one, but it looks really good, especially if it's something which you want in your game, but you don't really know how to set up, or you don't want to set up, or you don't know where else to get the animations, you could use these here. Now we've got the Zaynad Assassin, which is more of just a character model asset instead of something else, which we've had, like the foliage, or something else which we're going to have later on in the video. So I just wanted to put one of these in here as well, looks really cool. So it's a low poly PBR 3D model of the character Zaynad Assassin, which is suitable for games of different genres, i.e. RPG, first person shooters and strategy. It is rigged and it's rigged to the epic skeleton, which also includes IK bones. It is also animated with three different animations. They are all idle, so there's no running or walking or jumping or attacking or anything. However, since it's rigged to the epic skeleton, you may be able to either create your own or retarget some, whatever you like, or again, you might just want the model itself, as you can see here. This looks great. It would be better if there were some more animations, but again, you might be able to add those in yourself. Now we've got a really cool one, which is the railway system with IC train. So this allows you to build working railways in your level within five minutes. Train, track, platform, bridge, tunnel, and crossing blueprints are all included. So this pack contains everything you'll need to quickly set up working realistic railroads in your level, with a fully functioning railway can be created in five minutes. Now this can be a simple railway line with trains for background of your game, or it can be a complex railway with lots of trains which stop at platforms where the player can enter and exit to take a ride around the city or the map you have created. So it includes several blueprints, these being the train itself, the track, the platform, the tunnel, the crossing, the bridge and the switch. The switch so you can change different lanes while playing the game. Now they have said that at this moment the switch does change tracks immediately so the train is just teleported to the nearest point of selected track. However, they are still updating this, so they might change that in the future, or you yourself might decide you want to kind of build onto it as well. So instead, it will get the closest point further ahead and then slowly verge over where the track does actually move over. So there's seven blueprints, 56 meshes, 61 materials and material instances, and 84 textures, most of being 2K, most of being 2K or 1K, however, some are smaller. And they have also mentioned this is supported in UE5 as well. So once again, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic and not only just the looks, but the functionality of it as well allows you to set up a really cool train system very, very quickly. So again, whether this is just in the background or something which the player is actually sees quite a lot and uses in game as well. Next up is the realistic looking cliff and rock pack. So this is a pack of 12 sculpted cliffs and rock with tile level textures for maximum quality. And they've said this is perfect for creating the Chinese type of mountains, for instance. So this realistic looking cliff and rock set is manually 3D sculpted and is ready to join your world and fill your scene up with details. You can easily create various mountain ranges and rocky scenes and even add some snow on top. So this pack includes two low poly cliffs, two low poly split cliffs, two low poly ground cliffs, three low poly medium rocks and three low poly small rocks. So each one can be additionally modified by turning on and off the moss layer using a mask and the snow layer using the shader. So you can really customize these to get them different. So it can be mossy, so maybe if you want it by the sea, or snowy if, if you want it higher up. And though moss isn't only by the sea, but with this kind of look they've gone for, that's kind of where I think it would look best. So there's 12 unique meshes, all with custom collision, and the vertex count it ranges from sub 100 to about 16,000, depending on which rock or cliff you're going with. So there are up to four LODs as well, depending on the mesh size, which again really helps with the optimization of this. There's one master material and eight material functions with seven material instances and 11 textures. So this looks fantastic. Again, you can really quickly and easily just make any rocky scene you want. So I imagine this might look good if you're kind of climbing up high, walking up a rocky mountain in a story based game, for example. Obviously that's just one use, but that's somewhere where I think this could look really good. Now it is the attack animal wolf. So animals for your game environment by living systems. You can add interactive wild wolves to your game's environments with built-in enemy detection and hunting behavior 
which you can drag and drop easily in. So the wolf has a health, hunger and stamina system and the wolf will begin the level walking to random path nodes while its hunger meter increases at the rate which you can set. So it is rigged and animated with six different characters, that being a red wolf, a brown wolf and a grey wolf in both groom and hair planes options. The texture is 4K and there are 81 animations. There's also 7 LODs as well. Also I should mention the animations are both in place and root motion so again you can choose which one you want to use. This does also include the wolf sounds so you won't have to find them yourself, this does include some, however you can obviously find some too if you wanted. Next is the leaf tree forest biome. Now this is a procedurally placed forest filled with green leaf trees, optimised and AAA quality. So it features optimised AAA quality assets and shaders ready for use on both console and PC. An example map with lighting and settings tweaked for optimal performance without sacrificing visual fidelity. An opaque water shader using virtual texture sampling to create a fake shoreline and the illusion of transparency, which is much cheaper than using real transparency. A simple and optimised landscape shader with four ultra-realistic materials, those being grass, leaves, twigs and a path which are utilising virtual texturing for maximum performance. There's also a procedural volumes for spawning the entire forest, spawned in numerical order. So we'll go through some of the different meshes now, there's 5 trees, 8 rocks, 2 logs and branches, 10 smaller vegetations or ground scatter, 1 water plane and 1 backdrop forest plane. There is also collision which is generated for convex holes for rocks and capsules for all trees. And again there is also LODs, to make this really well optimised for your game. So there's 67 material instances and 127 textures. So there's 9 materials, 67 material instances and 127 textures ranging from 1k to 4k. And I think this one looks absolutely fantastic and again the procedural aspect of it is great so you can just place this in your level and it will do it all for you. You will not need to create the landscape and all the forestry yourself just place in the box and it will do it for you, which can get a really unique looking forest because it wasn't made by hand and it obviously saves you a lot of time as well. And finally, last but not least, we have the Niagara Death Effects Volume 2. So there's a quick note that you do have to turn on Apex Destruction plugin before adding it to your project, as you can see in the video here, after they have died and after the Niagara particle has finished, a lot of them do kind of explode and I imagine that is where they've been using the Apex Destruction plugin. So this features high quality Niagara death effects made in the Niagara system which you can replace with your enemy death. The static mesh is also supported and it works very well on a level sequencer. So if you wanted to make a kind of animation that would work great too. So the type of emitters are both CPU and GPU. There's 36 unique effects with 35 materials and 20 material instances, 30 textures, 9 blueprints and 13 unique meshes. Now this is supported on Windows, however it's not been tested on Mac just yet. They do also have their own documentation and tutorial and help if you need that. So once again, I think these look great, you can really use these in any type of game to really just signify the enemy has died with a nice simple Niagara particle effect. And there's quite a big variety and range of different effects here, so again you could use these in many different games, for example there's even a butterfly one which you might use if your character is more of an innocent person not really going out killing a lot of people. So I think that'll be it for this video of going over the February sale which again is happening from now until February 13th where you can save 50% off on hundreds of different selected assets. All of the ones shown today are again linked in the description down below as well as a link to the full sale page. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful of me just going through 10 of the different assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace February sale this month around and as always I'll be back again for the next sale and also for the next monthly free assets which if you haven't already seen my video on February's monthly free assets make sure to go watch that now. So again I hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.